Hi, my name is Tiffany Cameron, Reggae Girls Top Striker, and you are watching Ryan LFC YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan LFC. Back again, guys. Another top shelf video for you guys today. As you guys can see in the title and the thumbnail, we're going to have the former reggae boys, top midfielder, Rudolf Vastin, a man that always stuck hard inside the midfield. And, you know, I'm going to share him story with us. So I want you guys to welcome him and be nice to the former captain. So make sure you guys leave your thought down in the comment section. Leave your favorite moment of Rudolf Vastin playing for the Jamaica national team. So without further ado, Austin, good evening, sir. Welcome to the show, man. Good evening, Ryan. Thanks for having me, man. Virgin, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you on the, on the show, man. Trust me. No problem. Yes, man. So how the family doing and stuff, though? I'm good, man. Everybody all right. Everybody healthy and, and stuff. So that's what, the, what that is the most important thing, you know? Most definitely, man. And a lot of people will see um, Rudolf Austin and... They always seem quiet. That's that that's you always quiet behind the scene. Yeah man, that's my nature. Always quiet. But I love to joke and have fun, you know. Yeah. But when I mean, they me just keep it cool, you know. Yeah, man, definitely, man. But yeah. so I want you to tell me, man, where you from? Where where you from? I grew up in Margaret Pass, you know. I grew up in Margaret Pass. Not not Clarendon. Close to Chapterton. Yeah. Yeah. So where, where school you attend from a tender age coming up? I went to Margaret's Pass basic school and I advanced to Margaret's Pass all age. Then I went to Clarendon College and that's where my education stopped because of football. Okay, okay. So at what age you start to play football? At what age did you start to begin that you know you have a passion for football and this you want to do um full time? Uh, my mom said it was at, at three years old. Yeah, that's what she told me. Yeah. So when you start out, yeah, we know you play midfield. Where you start out? Um, striker, midfield, goalkeeper. Where you start out? I started out as a as a sweeper, you know. Defender. Sweeper. Yeah. At those times they were using sweeper, so that's where I started out. Okay. Fair enough, man. But um, so. At your primary, you, you, you win anything at um, your, your schooling, at your primary or your Manning Cup days? Yeah, man, I win. Uh, I won um, in the um, under 12 for my early age school. Yeah. You know, um, slash primary. That's the only trophy where, where the school I've ever won. We beat Clarendon College in under 12. So, yeah. But at the, at the Dacosta level, I didn't win anything because I I went to the semi-final yeah. and couldn't play the final. I went to the semi-final, I couldn't play because of some two yellow cards, you know, story of my life. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story of your life, Bridget. You're always getting a lot of yellow cards, man. Yeah, you know, I always try to do my best for the team and sometimes happen you know just part of the game yeah so when you leave when you leave Clarendon college where when you leave college Clarendon college where are you further which club team you went to um during my last year at Clarendon college i was playing for los Profectors in mandeville yeah yeah tony james team them own um golf view hotel yeah yeah so that's where i was playing and that's where I actually made my my national debut. Yeah. Yeah, and then I I move on to Portmore United after that. Yeah, but be, before you go to Portmore though, um, you play under seventeen, you play under twenty for Jamaica. Yeah, I played played under twenty and under twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. As a mid as a sweeper or midfielder. Midfielder. And, and under 20 as a right back and then under 23 as a a midfielder yeah so which yeah. position you prefer though playing the early position over there is this position you prefer i don't have a I I, I I i i play midfield and defense mostly but i don't want someone on the pitch 
I don't I don't care to be honest. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, I, I just want, you know, the love that I have for the game. You know, sometimes the players complain with them to play this and that. But if the coach think you can play right back and he wanted to play right back, then you go and help the team. So that's it. that is my philosophy. Okay, okay. But when you when you um so who see you that say went to Portmore? Who who take it to Portmore? Um, I was playing under 20, you know, and then after we went to Germany and the team did well. I did well also, but we I was at Los Perfectos playing in the Super League. Yeah. And then um, I think it was Lazaroni coaching the national team. And, and the I, yeah. yeah, and I got called up for the, the, the local senior team. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he told me that if I want to continue to play for the national team, I can't be playing the the, the, the second league in the country. So, mm -hmm. that's when I made the transition to, to Portmore United from Los Perfectos. Okay, so, um, you know, they pay paying the transfer fee at the time or you went to Portmore free? Um... I don't know, you know, I think the club took care of all those things. I, I, I have no idea, to be honest. But I know Los Perfectos wasn't really happy me leaving. But, you know, I I, I have to do what I, I I have to do for my for my future in the football game. That's how it goes. So, you know, I, I made that decision to, to move on. And, you know, I'm grateful for what they have done for me. Always will be. Okay, so when it when it when it went to Portmore, um, as with national coach, say, um, if you want to play for continue playing for the national team, where you go and play at Portmore, you play um under 20, 21, or you play um Premier League? Um, they said they wanted me to play Premier League, so that's why I, I went there also because at that time I was I could have played under 21 also, but you know, I wanted to play big man football. You know, yeah. so I went there and I was playing right back there. Then I I move into the midfield, defensive midfield, and you know, yeah. and so I really started to play there. Yeah, but when I moved to Portmore, what was difficult um, playing at Portmore? Because Portmore always winning the Premier League, you're coming from the the Super League level, and to, to step up in the, the 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 Premier League, how difficult you find that to adjust to the faster pace of the football at the time. To be honest, I didn't find it, you know, difficult. It was difficult in certain aspects of the game, but like the roughness of the game and the speed of the game, it wasn't difficult because where I grew up playing, it's really, you know, rough and fast there. And, you know, so you develop those things over the years, you know, it's just to get in the league and know the know-how and, and stuff and, 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 and to really find out how football is played on a, on a different level. But... Once I, I got those things, you know, I, I just gravitated to, towards it in, in the best way I could. But I, 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 I found it okay at the time. Okay. Fair enough. So, what year did you went to Portmore? What year did you start to play for um, Portmore? I think, um, I think I was uh, 19 years old. 19? Portmore, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Ryan Johnson said for big up. Farmer reggae boys. Um, yeah, man. Number nine. Yeah, big up Ryan, man. Good youth. Very good youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up yourself, Ryan. But tell me something. So when you went to Portmore, you play right back and you play defensive midfield and stuff. When you start to um going to that next level, consistent getting calling for the national team. You know, um, I was getting called at from under twenty, you know. Because they yeah. had like five of us, me, Luth and Shelton, um, Akeem Priestley, I think Ryan, Ryan Thompson, um, Mario Harrison, Nikolai Finlayson, maybe five, six of us, Jeremy and Taylor, you know, that they used to bring up in the, in the national team, the local one. And sometimes Luton and Ter Taylor would make that transition to the big, to the big senior team. So they had, they had us in the in that um little group that you know go in and out of the team and but then they knew about us so you know it was easy to to, to make that transition okay so fair enough so um when i went to portmore uh, me a ball boy at boy stone 
Ball boy of a friend in the park. Trust me, you have Jason. You have, at the time, you have Anthony Bennett, Sachis. So it. many great, great players playing for Portmore. Ruan Nelson. Um, another one you just play for Santos and play centre back. Sean Sayers and stuff. Where is Sean Sayers? You know who Sean Sayers? In the Canada, man. From what I heard. Yeah, man. My favourite goalie, you know, you know me is a goalkeeper too, so. Yeah. But too short yeah, to be goalkeeper, man. Eh? Too short to be goalkeeper, but continue. No, <laughs> <laughs> no man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over six foot, Bridget. Let me see him still on Bridget. Uh, yeah. Right, man? <laughs> yeah. So tell me something though. At your your play you, you play for Portmore and thing. Win the Premier League. How it feel to win the Premier League for Portmore United? It was really good, you know, because you know that that one that was one of the the, the best moments in local football, you know, to, to to go to a club like Portmore with the history and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. and to go there and, and do well and be a part of a, a winning culture. You know, it was very good, you know, and at least you have that and your CV and stuff, so it was welcoming. Okay, so how it feel to play for the um, the Jamaica under, under 20, under 23? Always great, man. Always great whenever you go out there and put on the colours for your national team. Because as a, as a little boy grow up, you know, you can play football. Everyone have that dream, you know, so it, it, it's always a pleasure to go out there and represent the country whether it's good times or bad times you know because that's life you go through ups and downs yeah fair enough so you move overseas from Portmore why you leave Portmore go overseas I know you want to further your football career and stuff um, but believe that Portmore wasn't the team to take it to that next level because of where our football is you know, mm-hmm. you can't play football locally with no disrespect. You can't play football locally and, and you know, and can financially take care of your family and stuff. And I don't play football for fun. It's a job. You know, yeah. And I've always have that in the back of my brain over the years, you know, because, you know, I have kids and I have a wife, you know, I have a, my family to, to take care of. So. You have to take it serious and be professional and know that if you want something out of the game, no disrespect to Jamaica, but it's, you're not going to get it here if you want something um, substantial can set you up for the future. So it was an easy decision to, to, be, to make. So tell me something. Um, big up to Germany in the comment section. He said, big up, you know, Maestro. Yeah, man. Blessed Germany. Yeah. But tell me something, though. Um, Playing at Portmore, went overseas. What's the difference? And which team you first go to try out for when you um, go overseas? Uh, I went to Stoke, you know. Firstly, when I was at Portmore, I got injured for two years. Two years? Two years, yeah. I got, um, I, I don't know if you remember one night we played Waterhouse in the National Stadium and I scored a free kick nearly from half line. It was a semi final and that night, my my knee, the cruciate ligament in my knee just ripped. But I continued playing and stuff. And so I was out for two years. So that's when my agent, Phil Graham, because he saw me playing for Portmore already. And that's when he signed. When I play a game in Club Club America. But my, my agent that time, he wanted me to get some good treatment. So he... he brought me to England and put me to Stoke so they could help me and that's when I met Ricardo Fuller because he, he had just moved to Stoke and stuff so and I started my rehab and stuff and did a surgery in England and I came back home and started to play for Portmore some some more and then you know I got back to Stoke did the trials if the Tony Pulis told me I have two weeks Trials and after two days, he, he said he wanted to sign me for one million pound, and I was there waiting on the work permit, and the 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 move fell through because I didn't get the work permit because I was out injured for two years, so I didn't play the game for Jamaica that that is required to to get the permit. 
So at what age you get that injury and you didn't get the work permit at what age? 20. 20 years old. 20? Yeah, 20 years old. Everything was taken away from me. I, I, I did three surgeries on my knee. I, honestly, I didn't know I would play back football. One doctor told me I wouldn't play back. But knowing me, I'm stubborn and just work hard. But over the years, I always have knee problems. But, you know, I just... I just know how to handle it. Yeah. So at the age of 20, you dream to play overseas. At the time, where is Chuck City? The Premier League or the Championship? I have a brother, you know. You know I have a brother support Man U and he always tell me, say, I want to play for Man U. But, you know, as a, as a little boy, you have that dream of yeah. playing somewhere. But, you know, I end up playing for Man U rivalry. Rival. Leeds United. So they said if you aim for the for the star in region mood or something like that, then you have to be be you know happy. So I am I am happy with with that aspect of it. Yeah. But at the time when you get the injury though and holy per money strokes it to want to sign you. Or you feel that time, yeah, you feel like to give up, especially coming out for that two year two year um out with injury. Yeah, it can be frustrating. It, it, it was frustrated, but you know, at the same time, you have to understand that you know, injuries like that just don't heal overnight. You know, and you have to work yourself back. You know, you have to put in the work because you know, I I, I had turned down some opportunities to go to college. You know, so it was just football I was focused on, and when that happened to me, you know. I, I have to work hard to get back, you know. So I did that and you know, I am grateful that I did. Yeah. So at the time though when you're twenty and your child had stroke city, a CDM thing there, no wing back, no centre back, a defensive midfield, you start to play you now. Yes man, and during during that time in in the Stoke City in, in um situation I was travelling to and from there like every three months, four months, so it was like two years out of rehab. <laughs> I didn't play for two years. So I was 22 when I started playing back, you know, so. So I just want to explain that situation. It wasn't like one situation. It was like a two year period I was traveling to and from doing surgeries and stuff and trying to get the rehab done. Yeah. So you were traveling back from England to Jamaica at the time? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that means uh, you're a well good man for sit out for two years at the age 20 and then come back in, newly signed for, for um, Stroke City. That means uh, at the time when you are 20, you were balling out then? I, I never stop work, Ryan. You know, I never stop work. Even when people don't believe in you, you have to believe in yourself. And I never stop work. I, 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 and I didn't give up. You know, that that's. Those are the things that took me through, to be honest. I just believe that I'm going to be playing again and stuff. So I just kept working, 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 and, you know, eventually it happened. So after not signing for Stroke City, you go back to the drawing board. What next after you're not signing to, to cause that's supposed to be one of your, your lowest point in your, in your entire life? Yes, but um, every low point, uh, there are opportunities also. So, But what happened there, mm -hmm. when when they didn't get to sign me, they signed this Nigerian guy from Wolf named Oli Finjana. Yeah. So when he came there, his first training, we were stretching, and he sat beside me stretching. And he heard of the, my situation. I didn't get the work permit. So he said to me if I would be interested to play in Norway. So I said yes, because he was at my at this club in Norway, Brand. Yeah. So he said no problem. And then when he went to the dressing room he just called Norway <laughs> the club and tell them that they have a, a player and think he will help the club very well and stuff. Didn't get his work permit if they would be interested. Because they were looking for a player like me. So to replace him. To yeah, replace you. Exactly. So so they you never see a player. He never see a player. He never see a player. He just see a stress. So him 
No man, we had a training session at the at, on the day when he came to the to the to the club the same day when he signed, we trained and stuff. So he saw me play for we were playing some games and stuff, so he saw me playing. So after that training session then, you know, we were talking and then he made the call. And the club came to Canada to watch us play a, a World Cup qualifier. We drew one one with Canada. I think Andy Williams scored that that day. You know, and then after that I got a one year loan there. And after so the plan was So who loan you? Portmore or uh, Stroke City? Portmore loaned me, but Stoke had, had an agreement with Portmore that I, I can't sign fully to no club without their permission. Okay. So I went to Norway on the, on the one year loan in um, August and in um, January I tried to get Stoke apply for the work permit in England again and I didn't get it so the club Brandbergen in Norway they they had the option of signing me if I don't get the work permit to go to Stoke so they took that option and that's when they signed me for for one million pounds so a four-year deal so yeah yeah so you feel at that time to have your first professional contract over there in Norway and what's the difference with England Jamaica, you're playing Jamaica, you're chain on Stroke City. What's the difference at that time playing in Norway? It's just professionalism all around. It's just a lot of professionalism. The place, you know, the facilities, everything just is just different, you know. And it was a, you know, being at Stoke, it prepared me and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. So it was, and I was playing international football for the, for the country. So mm -hmm. it was, I was ready. In my opinion, I was ready, and but it was it was a culture shock, you know. Um, the food, you know, the weather, all these things, your homesick and stuff. Honestly, I signed the four-year deal with a heavy heart. You know, I didn't know that four years would have passed, <laughs> and here now I'm soon forty years old, so time really flies, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, so why you say sign it to that heavy heart? No, because I'm at Stoke, I'm, I'm around my big brother Fuller, you know, and you just feel a part of their thing. And I'm in England where I have a brother and I have some friends there, so you just feel at home. Then you have to move to a different country, you don't know the language, you don't get the same food, you don't have any friends. My 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 girlfriend, my wife now, um, she she couldn't come because she were she was in university and stuff so i was just there alone and it was just different you know but i i, I am strong at it in a way that i i knew this was my opportunity so even yeah. though i signed it with heavy heart i knew that i always think long term and this would set me up for the long term so i i have to just fight it too yeah yeah so what a day to day basic um a, a, a day like in our way Without family and stick. Oh, oh, your day is set up. What is your day? You get up, you go training, you come in back, um, you lie down with your computer in your hotel room or, or if you get an apartment and you talk to your family, you get you get some food, you go sleep <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you go back at training. That was my life, to be honest. You know, yeah. and because I always put football first. I think if you you are a professional, you should take it, you know, mm. in a professional way. You should always be a professional. So, and I like to rest also. And you know, why should I go party and run around the place when you know it's not gonna benefit me? Mm. So, what are they, some of the achievement you have in in Norway for that four year? Um, we finished third in the league and. I won the player of the year 2011 for the whole league. Then yeah. that's, the, that's the year after I went to Leeds. So, yeah. yeah. Tell me something. Bigger times to come over now, yeah? when you are, when, 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 when you're in now, yeah? yeah. We were there at the same time, but he was in the league under what I was playing. Okay, 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 okay. Fair enough. So, that year, your, your last year, all the move come about. Going into England back at Leeds United, massive club. 
to to um, the um i always kn- know um um neil warnock over the years you know and i went on a trials i think it was in december i was going home i was coming home to jamaica and i stopped in england for a week and i i was at qpr trying out you know and i did very well on in the trials and then you know the, the six months after he came for me when he was at leeds so that's where oh, I, I went to, to leeds united yeah so you spent a couple seasons you spent um almost four season at at at, at, at leeds what is it like play in the championship i remember you play against manchester city in the fa cup what is it like what's the difference playing in Norway and in the championship in england Whether the championship is just on a different level of speed, you know, it's it's very fast. You have to be fit, you know. Sometimes after five minutes when you start the game, you feel like you want to come off because everything just high tempo, high tempo, you know. Everything is just fast, you know. So as 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 you know, it's one of the hardest and fastest league um, in a, in the world. So it was very it was very good very challenging you know and stuff so it would it, it could only make make me better and you know i think i i settle well in it yeah so um you you, you score a few goals for leeds united so you play from 2012 to 2013 no 2015 from 2015 from 2012 to 2015 yeah, three years while, leeds. Yeah, so why leave Leeds United? Why leave England? Um, we had a Italian um owner. owner at that time. And um when he wanted to extend my contract, I was 30 years old. So I went up to him and they had this um structure which they don't give players over 30 more than one year. Mm-hmm. So we didn't um, agree and stuff. So I went to the Gold Cup and then I I I um I went back to England going up to Sheffield Wednesday because I knew Sheffield Wednesday wanted to sign me. So and they, they gave me three years. Yeah. So I, the match is easy, either one or three. So I put my family first as usual and I took the three years and when I was going up there to sign, then I didn't get the work permit again. So that's how I, I have to move to, to Denmark. So, hold on. So, how you get the work permit to, in a Leeds, to play for Leeds, and then in the same place in England, and at, then you don't exactly. get it. At that time, the move to Leeds, I, I have all the, the requirements. You know, I, w- I was qualified at that time because it was 75% of the games you had to play for the national team. Yeah. So what I mean in between that time? from but, in- but England didn't do well at the, um I think it's the 2014 World Cup. England didn't do well. Yeah. So they changed the rule from um, 75 to 50. Mm-hmm. You have to be in the top. 50 teams in the world to get a work permit so i didn't qualify that time but i thought that i was in the league already they yeah. would have let me my deal you know go through but they didn't do it because they thought that um the foreign players are taking up the space for the young team or the, the, the young players the, them. the young players them to to get that to development. Improve. so yeah so that's what happened yeah, so you went you went from from England back to um, Denmark. What is it like in Denmark? Because right now Denmark is doing good. In 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 they are the first team to qualify for the World Cup. Uh, what what is going on over Denmark? Make things is going so smooth for them, especially the team Denmark team. Your time playing in Denmark. It's just it's just the whole football structure the, the, the way they structure the football bro it's unbelievable yeah it's no it's no coincidence why they are doing so well 
you know each club at when at my club at one of my club over there you know my son was in uh, under six academy so that's where they started the kids from under six so mm-hmm. the whole country just playing football playing football playing football it's a it's a big thing but they have a very good structure over there with football yeah. you know, and, the, and as you can see they're getting their they're, they're reaping the rewards now because they have a very good good team you know, oh. and, and and their players playing like Brentford Brentford team is half Danish Danish yeah you know and the so, coach is a Danish too yeah he, he's the one that signed me in um Bromby he yeah me to Denmark yeah Thomas Frank good coach very good coach very good person yeah one of the best human beings I've ever met on the planet yeah yeah. I, I listened to him speak the first time Brentford come in the Premier League. Didn't know much about them and stuff. Um, you have one guy named Taylor who do a couple of videos with me and thing. And he might tell me about him. He he's from Denmark and thing. And he might say, right, a coach, a big coach. He might go surprise that. And he even called me and tell me, say, if I'm see how the game start the first five minutes, he must say, oh, Ryan, Arsenal dead. Yeah, and man, first he, 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 come up. Him, him exceptional man just me great human being you know character and relax he's like a father to you, yeah. you know? and him not in an hour for night neither him just yeah. always cool always cool yeah. yeah really happy for him mm-hmm. okay fair enough that means i'm a company for then man for in a denmark and then to manage a team in the in the premier league now Beijing that Holy yeah, and because um Brentford is won by Brentford is won by Mitchell and you know, another big team in Norway. Yeah? Yes, they have the same owner. So that's why the players they have that this transition from you know, when some players in Brentford not doing well, they can go to loan. Go on loan in, in, in Denmark to Mitchell and when they are doing very well, they can make that transition from Mitchell to Brentford. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm realize that they do have they um in in Brentford they do have a youth system. They only have an under twenty three team. They think it bit um it's cheaper. The under twenty three team play more against the European style player than all of these things. Because that's weird. They don't have to have it because they have um a strong three uh, Michelin in Denmark got a, have a lot of um young African players. If they took from um, um, Nigeria and they live in Denmark, they bring people to stay with them and stuff, cook for them. Like they bring the culture there, you know. So yeah. I'm telling you, they have a, a very good thing in place. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But um, so back in Denmark, playing in Denmark, what's the difference with Denmark and um? Um, your first team that you signed for in 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 um, Norway. Norway. What's the difference with Norway and Denmark? Denmark, the Danes, the Danish league is more um, football wise. Them play more. Um, the they, yeah, them play more technically and move tiki taka and stuff. They try to play more, but I um, mean Norway, it's more, more like long. championship. Norway is really fast, and you know you have to fit, and it's like end to end stuff in Norway. Yeah. But um, Denmark is more tactical, and you know the the, the teams try to play um, a lot more. Yeah. Where, where do you rank the championship? Because you know uh, a lot of people say it's a very good league. And recently, if you look at most of the young players, them like Jack Grealish performed very well in the championship. Come in the Premier League, do well. Um, a lot of players. Can't remember some of them are from top of me. We rank the championship because you, you think it, um, the championship get better? Definitely, more teams playing more. You know, I, um, more teams. When you say more teams playing more, more, they put the ball on the ground and they play. Put the ball on the ground. You know, a few teams um, make it to the Premier League by just playing really good football. I think Swansea, same Brentford, and um, Bournemouth. Born born I was there, you know. Those are the team that, that Vincent really Company coaching Burnley you know, they're all different. They play really kind of different. They play like the Belgium national team. Exactly. So 
you know i think when i when i watch it now it yeah. looks like um the team's trying to play more football now like put it on the ground and trying to make things happen okay fair analysis pitching but so when you move back from when you uh, make the move from um the team from in winning the what next for you 2017 yeah, you leave that club and join a new club in in the same place in denmark yeah yeah 20 um 2017 i went to esberg esberg is esberg a big team down in denmark not One really you there. know but they, they have their history yeah yeah but i was i was um 32 that time 32. And they, they just got relegated and they wanted to come back up they yeah. wanted to go back to the top league i went there and we got promoted then we went to we finished third in the top league then we were we qualified for to play europe, europe qualification that year and stuff so it was a, a very good two years then stuff you know we got um relegated again and stuff you know so football mm -hmm. up and down Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But I want to talk to you about the national team. What are your experience playing over the years for the national team? Because we're still, from 98, we're still having going to no World Cup. Wow. Some of you are your time playing. Why are you guys have some very good team? Fuller and all of these stuff play at the time. I've never played a national team World Cup qualifying um you know years like when we qualify for the world cup which i never feel i never feel like we we, we 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 don't have a team to qualify you know i always do but i just think you know as i said before the structure of our football you know is killing us you know the, the the professionalism you know the whole football out here i think you know i came back and and i'm playing some and literally like for me you know like the feeder, the feeder tree in you know, the football out here. The, the, the wagon wheel now turn over, and produce the players them that we need to qualify, you know. Yeah. Really, you will see a player like, you know, like a Leon Bailey come through the other day and stuff and, 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 and things like that. But the talent, the talent is here for a fact. You know, but being around some of the players, them it's like them afraid to, to, to be successful. <laughs> no, I tell you the truth. You know, it's like yeah, if you have to beg them to train and you know, and they, and them talented. You have I play in the league, them really talented. But it's like them at there some different players. Like they know one gonna make money and and take care of themselves. Yeah. Because you know, when we are ball boy, you know, I'm thinking you know, Virgin, you know, the Premier League, when I watch the Premier League, you know, like, the Arnett Garden, Portmore, Tivoli, the Arborview, the Waterhouse, like, you can name seven teams when you, when you look at them squad, like, eight, good, nine, superstar on the team. Virgin, I tell you, too, watching the Jamaican Premier League now, like, it put me to sleep, man. The youth, them now work hard enough, man. I'm a talk about them thing there, and I man believe that, you more and bash the player them and thing, bitch. But I don't think they're working hard enough, you know. Especially if a youth live on it, yard. Right? In play for on it, yard. He move two minutes away from the stadium. But yet still the chain in start four o'clock. He might come four thirty. They won't make the day hard enough. But when you talk about these things, you hate the youth them and something. But I always believe if someone talk to me that means someone want me for change yeah so if someone see me i go do bad and then i say nothing to me that means that they hate me uh -huh. you know because me come back and me 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 want to see you them go they're going to be successful because me know no disrespect to jamaica but if you have your talent make use of it uh -huh. you understand me because uh -huh. if you love football and you have the talent for it and you play it you'll never work a day in your life you understand me and, and and you get a contract three four years you can set up yourself depends and and the type of money you're making and stuff so if you have the talent to to make a big move like that in your life and can relax after 
then you go with it you know and and but sometimes you know we have to be honest with you them and me now go sit down and, and not be honest with them you know because yeah. me, me mean them good yeah yeah me mean them what, good. what are you them behavior though over poke me because many other places are very disciplined place when me i watch Premier League. you understand remember yeah. the most usual come picking up always, always discipline, but you always you're, you're gonna have the one and two players and um, you know we always like a step out of line but the thing is it when i was a, a, a youngster in the club the players them um, that were like you know not you know doing this and doing that them are play ball so you mm-hmm. know say you can give and take with them you understand me yeah if a man come later or something you know say he might come score two goal or he might come work yeah this night game and win mm-hmm. but no sometimes the players them have bad um we have some bad character and and, and stuff and them still just come and in a game and draw them put and stuff and literally not saying poor more but the whole league you just feel like because me talk to other people at the club you just feel like you're begging you them to play and as a footballer you can't beg somebody it's like you, you want them to be more successful than how oh, them want for themselves. Mm-hmm. Because me, they run and they use them talented. Them can play, but it's like them now apply themselves. Them now work hard enough and the discipline part and stuff. I will leave all the things. You know, I will leave all the things. But the talent is in this country. You know, I really find it interesting listening to past play and thing. Because I was talking to um Omar Daly and I must say, Ryan, yo, brother, you know my time they over put me over Elcha. I nah get that. I said to one the other day, I said to one um one one player now who I play, current player, I said to him, say Bridging. You that play overseas, go back home, go run the sands. He said, which player go run the sands? I said, go over airport road you run the sands so he must say in love no car so he say take the jutc bus yo dog man i take no no take the jutc bus in the way you don't have a car you have a chart i can't can. tell the man say you're going at the gym half season going at the gym go run the sands go get fit they mean that when you hear oh my dear man say run in much money every day me i run like every pass player, me hear them say, Ryan, we work hard. A man probably don't see me work hard when nobody need to know say where I work. But I best time, I best work them the, you can ever do, you know, when nobody now watch. Because really and truly, we are not a big football culture. So for one of our players to go over there and take where, uh, uh, one, of, one of the European them game, you have to work one and a half time or twice hard. Hmm. You understand me? Remember when I was little youth and I got to more. At GC, first time we used to do pre-season, on the track. Yeah. Man, I vomit. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, but you work hard. That's that I DNA, you work hard. Yeah. Because I am not the, the best footballer. But I know if I di- discipline myself and I work hard. I don't care nobody wants about me. Because I have my goals in my life. You mm-hmm. understand me? You have to just, you know, have to be best in the And that's, that's why, and then the little thing I may try to teach you with them. You know, have to be best. It's just so you apply yourself. Yeah. Because look how much man have your talent and them fall by the wayside because it's lack of discipline. So yeah, if, if, if you are professional, you have to treat it in a professional way. So you will bring back that professional reward. But if you drag your feet, then it's going to be difficult, brother. Yeah. And, imagine, like, sometimes I feel like people think me have vended. You watch, you watch my show every now and then you watch it. Yeah, and, man, I watch your show all the while, man. And sometimes people think I go over the top and think, but me usually play the game. And right now, I still have work hard. If I didn't know them time, how important the gym is. 
trust me, I would have lived in the gym. Bro, me when not... I cut you, when I did ask you, I mean, he injured. I didn't know if he do rehab. And you know how you bring me in the gym back at him every night? Fuller. Fuller. 8 o'clock with the gym. Remember, I don't know this, this man from the world. I just meet him as a national player up there and he take me like a little brother. 8 o'clock, that man in the gym, from 6 to 8 every night. And I just leg weight because I situation we didn't need. Right. And you see, you see, you see the, the word them when do. You know, I'm, I'm there around him and never like beg him nothing. Me just want to see where him do. For work, for, for improve yourself. For my own. You understand me? Yeah. And me there with him every time and, and me learn a lot. A lot, brother. Trust me, until this day, you know, so if you keep yourself fit. Yeah. You understand me? So, yeah, you hard work hard, you have to work hard. No matter how you're talented, you have to work hard. Especially when you come from Jamaica. We are not Brazilian, you know. We are not Argentinian, you know. Yeah. Our French, you know. We don't come from these places, you know. So we have to work hard. I feel twice, uh, twice as the man then exactly. because yeah, bro. I'm, yo, me I tell you say like the man then now nah, Austin me I tell you truth. Even when the national team Carl Bajan and the squad job, Austin me I tell you when you look at the youth them physics, weak brother. The man then now nah, eat no food Bajan. When you look at the man them, every time they put them job on the ground, them now nah, do no gym gym Yeah, but you yeah, have in that aspect of it. You have to split it down the middle because you don't know if they are getting enough money to eat properly. You understand me? You don't know if they have a gym in, 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 in place. But that's where that's where you have to find. You have to be selfish in a, for, for your personal gain. You know, that's when you have to think and say, but if I want to play overseas, I have to go find a gym. You understand me? Or I have to go do some extra running, some hills and them, something. You know? That's when you differentiate, you know, the things that's gonna make you um be successful. Mm. But, but because if you sit down and wait for, for club, figure your gym and, and feed you, you know, then I them rule your life. Mm. You have to take control of your situation. But mm. in any other aspect, me don't know if you them are getting enough money to eat properly. Because most of you them have um them have um, a youth. Yeah. They kids. So if them have home with one forty thousand or one fifty thousand a month. School fee if you pay. Baby mother maybe one one year. <laughs> yeah, but in, <laughs> and, you know, you and, know, and, and, and and like point. Fitness one food and stuff. So me see me see mash up all of youth. Yeah. So when, tell me something. Alright. So but me believe, all right, because I play for boys and I play for Arnie. I think, and this is a problem I have with Jamaica club overall. Because I only got time to say I get a hundred thousand. A German, you probably get a hundred thousand back then. Currently, no, like the play of them, I don't think they get enough money. I think with football just a hundred back a while because. Back then, bigger time, say I get this this amount, but I don't think no player in the Premier League I earned that right now. But Somebody need that money there. It's crazy. When me just go put more, me get twenty thousand a month, and then me start playing with national team, me get forty five. But me have that in my brain. Say if me want money, you know they are Jamaica, mm -hmm. so me have to work hard to go overseas. So you have to have that in your mind. Every national team, we play for the national team um, 13 years. With Andy Williams and Bibi them and something. And the match fee never changed. 2005 when yeah. the Cup qualified. So at 13 years out of that. And things and time get more expensive. You understand me? So those are the little things them. So sometimes people might give players them a hard time but you don't know if the players them really are eat young you know have that physique you know mm. that part of it you have to give and take with that aspect of it. No, all right if 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 you have a gym 
Trust me. Trust me, Austin, I do this YouTube thing for a long time. And most of them youth here. If I want to know them figure how much money they get, I can get it by tomorrow. Some of them look at youth here get good money. And one of the things we talk about kids, I think back then, I don't know if a lot of football have a whole heap of, whole heap of kids. But currently, almost every player playing in the Premier League have a youth pitching. Yes, I mean, I mean, I tell you, youth expensive. You yeah, know, if you tell you, you you would expensive, so you know, but it it it, it all come down to individual. Yeah, you know, if you have this drive and this um passion to say, all right, may I go make something of my life? Yeah, then you will find a way. You will go train because yeah, you yeah, you, you always have a bigger picture. Mm. You know. You always have it. If you want something out of life, you have to have a bigger picture, in my opinion. You know, because how me live, you can you can die today or tomorrow. You hear some people say, yo, if them, them have to live and live, and if them die, this, that, they know they live. But you can also live 51 like 50 years too. Mm. <laughs> you understand me? So you have to have a balance. You understand me? So, yeah, I'll come down to, to all those things. Yeah, I'll come down to the individual, brother. Mm. But we know the talent is here. Talent. What do you have in the league? Um, even this youth from on it, CFAS. CFAS. CFAS should be in the national team. The speed well CFAS have. I close his Messi to like Luton. I mean, I really see him in a national team that he will get one. one he never get called. You know, say, I see him. My coach called so. call me and I say, Ryan, we have a youth. Yeah. Them time I woke up qualify. Him say, I'm going to watch him. I saw by in the park. And him say, Ryan, we are called local player. You know. have a local youth on him. See first. Definitely. Mm -hmm. play and Ryan, him raw talent. Him have it. And... In the overseas now, I'm tell you, every, every game him score. Brother, you see when you have speed in a football, yeah. you, 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 have a, you, 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 you have that edge. Okay, if you can push the ball and run. I close this thing, make me run against Luton and me run against him and it's very similar. The man fast and him can <laughs> score. Yeah. That's the thing. Him fast, yeah, he might go miss chances, but you know, he might look at you. Yeah, you just need to know yeah, but yeah. when me see, you can't have them the players there and, and then uh, I mean, I know your attitude. Mm. And I'm not going to judge because I don't know. But mm. when me see on the football field, I was I was impressed. Yeah. Him should have been a national team around left people and kick ball and a goal. Mm. You know, so when you look at, you ask me about the, our football, those, when you look at those things, you know, and players like, 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 like a CFAS, you, you really think how uh, 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 we are where we are going with the football <laughs> where we are look for too hey, where we are look for yeah you know yeah but you know more acts are still because i am from the garrison you from the garrison what the country man still a different garrison mate for your garrison and badness for me animal <laughs> <laughs> you know what say when we plan it still I don't know what's the difference because especially national team, we don't get a lot of players. They have the talent on the garden, they have the talent of Boystone and Tivoli Garden, but we haven't seen a lot of them playing for the national team. Me know the difference because... Sometimes, you, know, sometimes mm -hmm. you see, when you take certain players and you put them in a professional environment too, and they follow certain rules, they all come back down to discipline. Mm. You understand me? Yeah. If you follow certain rules and you feel you feel you feel you feel just be on time, you know, you know, you know, you feel be just professional. Yeah. Not a lot of the players them. If you take ten players in a in a in a in a league and, and you try to fi fi make them be in a professional way, maybe three or four or two or three gonna have that mindset. Yeah. Because we, Sometimes people just wire that way because yeah. sometimes you, as you say, you maybe they are on it and you behave differently. 
you know, you can get with certain things, Arnett or somewhere else, some other club, and then when you go in a national team, and if you follow certain you know. disciplinary thing, you, 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 you falter. Just just that. And the talent part kill no for no for our ball as you know. It's just the discipline part. Even 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 as a young player we're looking at put more what um overview put more overview at the time and thing you can see how the players them carry themselves coming off the bus you can see totally different if you are a agent or a scout come to watch and you watch your body language of the player them may i tell you it's so different overview put more Brother, when me leave Portmore and me go overseas, I didn't have to do nothing. Nothing. Because I was prepared from out here. Because you have to turn up on time. You understand me? You have to be disciplined. You have to work hard. You understand me? Yeah. Our pre-season, them, I like foreign overseas. So, them try to develop you in a way. So, when you go over there, you don't have to do nothing. Yeah. And that's why a club so successful over the years yeah you understand me and you have a system you have to work with i i, I play and but find it difficult for some time when the girls see you them come out of the you find it all difficult difficult to adjust and thing yeah I, I guess it's just the environment where man maybe grew up in a grew up in a man live where learn where them live uh, 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 and you know certain things develop in you and when you feel make that transition you know to go as a disciplinary part of the game maybe them can't because you have to change everything yeah you understand me when when you want in a football you can't up on the corner and sit down with your brethren every day yeah and like that to... may i tell you may i tell you that one of the things where the inner city you them do come we play on we hang up on the corner how much a clock hours and thing and things so that one of the problem I will love crowd. We love crowd too. Yes, and and if you, if you be professional, it, it's going to be a lonely road because you have to lose some wall if a friend. You can't go hang out certain way. You can't go party certain way because you have to go rest. You have to go recover and stuff. You understand? When you get the pre-season, you do. But how many people, when you grow up in that, how many people can just stop that? Or how many people have a mindset for just switch up? Yeah, you know, but as me say, there's no problem with the talent out here. You them can play football. It's just the dis disciplinary part, of it, brother. Hmm. Yeah. What about the tactical part? Of it? When you went overseas, what difficulty did find to, especially to doing a lot of this blackboard work? Brother, it was new to me, honestly. Yeah. Yes, because. Out here we think we know a game, but until you really watch videos and do blackboard, analyze how you... Because sometimes you will make a bad pass in a game and when you come back and see a video, you can see say oh, you have a simpler pass you make. You understand me, but you take a hard one. Yeah. You know? When 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 a coach can when you do the blackboard work you 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 learn the game better and and I didn't do a lot of that me personally out here so sometimes you even get bored when you're over there and you do it yeah it's sleep the first, ah. the first part of it you yeah, sleep yeah. then you realize you need this yeah because if you know if you know if you not do it and you know follow you're not gonna play. Because everything is just tactics, tactics, tactics. You see, you know, say, when we get by, if we go play for Excel, the coach always have a water back to Aliman. And he always fling it off of me. I come from Garrison. When he come on to this, I never really know much about the blackboard world. So I find myself asleep. And he always a fling the water back off of me. I say, wake up. And he say, do a hundred push up right there. And at the first time in a Jamaica where I went to Excelsior as a goalkeeper, them gave the goalkeeper book, goalkeeper stands, out of position, and all of them stuff there. The rules and all of them things there when it come on to goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. And the blackboard work. 
And that's why I'm going to buy the blackboard there. Because I want to show off and I show the people them. So listen. Especially the Jamaican team, bro. Like, we don't know how to close space. Zonal mark. Like, the whole world from Gold Cup. Every goal is scope. Almost every goal is scope on Jamaica. The team go down the wing. And screw the ball in the box. We have people inside of the inside of the 18 yard box. We have different of them, but we don't different properly. Alright? So if the ball, if the if the wing are over here and came on taxi lines, he always take Iman Alvas Paul always take one million miles to stop the ball from coming inside the box. Alright. We allow the ball for coming inside of the box. We have a Damian Law, or we have a Maria Pa. Who's ever playing? Or we have a win him. You know what we do? We mark the six yard box. Mm -hmm. So the man them square the ball come across in the 18 yard box. Our defensive midfielder, him awareness, him the up the field, or him now come back to cover the space to, 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 to protect the back line. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the man him have two forward in the box, you know, one mid one striker and a midfielder running at the box. Three against four, sometimes five Jamaican defender. We mark yourself. When you pick up one man, cover and mark the space. When you do none of that, I will chop the runner. Mm -hmm. So the ball come across from the 18 yard box, all of us, the right at the 6 yard box. You know, say, what kind of defending that? Like, come on. And then we have a good, then we have a, um, a video analyst. He's sleeping. I'm going to tell people all the time, you know, the video analyst, if he doesn't know the game, oh, he might go correct it. Yes, but you, you should know, Ryan, um, in a football, that's where um, most of the goals them score from. You know, square. And if the Jamaica are not, the are not 17, the are not 20, because we don't, we, we don't know how to, 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 we don't know how to mark. Um, maybe, maybe we are reached too late. Maybe if we can go earlier, like the centre back, them can drop earlier and, and can set themselves. So then we, we're there in a, a better position but most time maybe we are run go back to the goal and and that really hard yeah but even when you go, we are run and we go back to the goal normally as a defender you're supposed to slant way like this yeah yeah so we are straight on so when the ball play back so we can't get back there you're angry i mean i say yo may i tell you bro like these that's when that's when we have to we have to drop that's when you know if, if the team too wide, you know, like the midfield away from the centre back them, then it can be a big problem. In that situation, the team have to come back. Like, for instance, you said earlier when um, if them play about the ball, if you number six not in a right position, then you know, if areas that if the other team them running, it's it gonna cause problem. So yeah. we have to be more compact as a, as a unit. And the next thing too, bro, like. When Van Dyke make a mistake, Gomez probably can help him. You see, when we make a mistake, we're dead. We don't cover for each other. I mean, I say, la, yo, yo, we have so many coach on the bench and now see them, the man have a video analyst. Bridging, yeah, I'm but sometime, that, sometime that come down to individual in Because sometimes the, the culture out here in our football is, um, Ryan make a mistake, may I show him up. You understand me? Or mm. If Ryan Ryan make a mistake, me na cover for him, you know. And then she say Ryan make a mistake. When you you fi cover for Ryan, and then when you go clean up Ryan mess now, you look like the 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 the, 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 the big player, and Ryan have that trust. You understand mm. me? But it got enough time enough time you know, in every national team when me in a national team. Yeah, man, a man no deal. You understand me? So sometimes it yeah, all come down to the team and the field and, and, and everything. Sometimes you yeah, have to blame coaches for certain situations. A coach can prepare the, the team in the best way and go out there. And we as players, we have to take responsibility a lot of the time. You know? Yeah. Because even uh, my coach called me, you know? Uh, my coach called me, you know? And took out him computer and me and him there the one Sunday. And I must run. Look what the national team I do. And I'm show him on the computer and him stop the game and things. So I say, oh my God, 
we ne, we ne see this and we have a video analyst and one of the things too not only the video analyst i'm going to say because we put everything from the coach and the video analyst players where the player um development like certain certain um he don't learn the correct way how to position and all of them stuff there and it becomes it becomes natural in him game so he even know how to position himself and take okay. That's why that's why the, 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 the national team need its own DNA. Because every club have a different DNA or a different model of play. So the national team needs its own. So you know when you come play with Jamaica. One way. One way you play. Yeah. Because maybe a defender, maybe for instance, Low would have different him maybe in the Miami and him. Them tell him in Fidea so when crashes come, cause as a centre back. If you were up on the side where the ball are come from, most likely you fit take the first year, like the first post. Yeah. You understand me? Round that year and the, 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 the second center cover behind you with the striker or something. So when we have our own DNA you now, you can maybe be more critical. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Because you have 23 players coming from 23 different clubs. Different. 3D probably Put them together problem yeah. and i see him think i see him think craig i tell him you know as bad as think craig make up a bag of nice you know and bailey had said to them say yo we need to find a way how the team play and not only the senior team the young team have to find a way say listen this is how we play so when we leave no matter how long and then you come back into the system me can go excel so now um i don't know if things change over there, but at my time, I could go away and come back and know, say, yo, a 4 3 3 will play. And me know what the team are going to do. Because we have an identity from Pepsi, from Coles to Manning Cup. So when the man come from Manning Cup, he might really know what the coach asks him for. And I think that we need another team in, 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 a, in a national team because, yo, bro, like, our player, them, them, they are not a bad player playing for their club team. Especially, we always ask why these men play good for their club team, but when they come at national team, they find it really, really difficult to 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 to, to play for Jamaica. Brother, it's all it's all about you know the same thing that we 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 talk about earlier. We are, we need our own way of playing for national team, and if it go get better, I think. It have to start from a club level too. Yeah. It have to go right down. You know, yes, man, my thing say yes. If all of the clubs them play the same, then this, that. But you have to have that at least that, you know, 90%, 85 percent or so of that same DNA right throughout. You understand me? Mm -hmm. so for instance, they are, they are put more now and you have an under 20 team. If we are play I press and the next under 20 and the under 20 team I play low press. Low press. <laughs> Problem that. All the players them are gonna make the transition. Yes. They are gonna have a problem when you, you take an under 20 player and put him in the in a, in a the first team. Yes. So you need all of the teams them to play the same same way. way. So the players then make the transition, make the transition. You understand me? Yeah. And, and and when you look, maybe people think, yes, you can have, you know, the World Premier League, but you look on the bigger picture of the picture. national team yeah. and producing more players who who, who going to, you know, because every time a player leaves the country, you know, a money for the country, a money for the clubs, you know, ex exposure for other players. Mm. Especially now, bro, I wonder why, why I'm seeing a player come out of Jamaica. Brother, because I talent, because all right, me there Denmark. Yeah. And I tell you, there there are a lot of these players out here who can walk in a league at Denmark. But a little man them at Denmark, they go turn up on time at training. They go fall away. The you them just more coachable. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. Them them all right. When you did it, you see some little man. Most time, most time, my club them brother. When you go in, you know go home till all. You go in all ten o'clock. A morning time, go train. 
you know go home till all five o'clock you, you in the gym i do extra you, you depend on the field i do extra that away that away in next nation they have over we <laughs> see and we should have been more hungry because we, we live in a harder situation brother <laughs> And, and, and we know we know if we get out of certain things too easy brother man of life too easy brother trust me, me, easy me for for all easy. all right for instance if you're a coach because me out here and maybe me going a coaching yeah. you you want players you want coach players where 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 come and say yo when you turn up at you and you see them ready to be yeah. coach you know want to turn up at training and yo wait where you there boy i'm late you know and you know you know want that you want players that knock on your door them them want to go train yeah i don't think they bring suspect success yeah. you want players that with, because coaching yes it's good but coaching have a lot to do with players if you have ambitious players you're gonna look like a good coach mm. If you take Pep and give him one team when I'm ambitious, he might go look like he was coaching high world. So you need players. If you if you have players in high league, yeah, so you need all the players them in high league. If you have want to play for Jamaica, and then they want contract. And if you apply yourself and work hard enough, then you go get it. But you don't need play where I want to play. I want to play because I want to shoes, you know. I don't want to coach them the players. I want to coach players. Or I want their own players where we want to play for real magic. And even if you end up play for one, one, one lower team, fine. But you aim this up. Just saying. You want players with big, big dreams. We want to see a bigger picture. And you know, say with that, you have to work hard. You have to try your best. If you fall short, so life go. But it players them where I come, brother. Because of them, you just, them wasting talent. True, man. In a morning cup, they do so well. And then they call up and suddenly they don't want to train again. But that's where that's where good friends come around because if you have some man from the corner say your man move from here so and go play football because of that you're good at. Hmm. Because that man usual tell Shaman Nicholas man when him come and man him say yo go your bed. Go your bed. The yeah, other man you usual curb put on them man the curb put a pass and see him all and road and say yo go your bed. We you what you do? Because when a lot of time me they want me I watch some um some like some great basketball players and stuff baseball players and stuff documentary and okay. most of them did in a gang and the man them run them way you know no, no this and of you go do your sports so you okay. need friends like that to run where man them tell them you're good at football go play football mm-hmm. you understand me and you have to figure out that as a player too but if, you sit down, if you sit down and wait for people to change your life, your life now will change you. And I'm telling Bridget all the time, brother, you have to get up, brother. You can't wait for people to do this, do this for you, brother. You have to get up, Bridget. You have to get up for work, brother. You have to work hard, brother. Hard work, always pay up. I always tell people that. Definitely. You have a youth. I have a youth to ask you about the play for the national team. I have a youth to have a lot of time for. Play nine games already for the senior team. King, you play against him in the Premier League. What type of player is Richard King, the centre back, play for Cavaliers? King, the way I had in years. Yeah? King, the way I had in years. If you understand, King, the way I had in years. Oh, the composure where King Evans was a very good young player. Yeah. We just want him getting our system now. We think him to move out of the country. That's my opinion. Yeah. He needs to get our system. Everything. Yes. He need to get in our system at a good club when he can develop. We don't yeah. think he might develop playing Not in this me. league. 
and get in call and you only see him against some team when him play. Hmm. Like when him when you play international football, you see him real quality. Quality, yeah, yeah. Just, me, right? just step up. He play better with Jamaica than when he play with Cavalier. In my opinion, when I watch him, he look like yeah. he's ready for the. That yeah, but level. we think cause that because of the level where the game at him, him, him step up to that level. I think him just, him just have a quality, you know, and him they may be run better player and him may be in a professional environment. You understand me? But him need to leave. He need a, if him if him have a fulfill his potential at his age, he need to get in a, a good system where he can develop him. Because he can pass the ball and read the game good. In uh, in in fearless, in the free to to dribble and uh, uh, express himself, in express himself very good. So I want to tell you, are you a school? Are you a school in there? I seen that I'm gonna take him up. Are you a school in there? The CC man, you know. Well, the Cavaliers didn't play for now, so they need to sell him. Yeah, <laughs> sell him. the right the right price, not the right price, not come. I think yeah. when MLS club come in with a nice food, but they, I think they. I think Speed want a big money for him. Him just him signed to a big agent from where or Sanchez. Well, me yeah. not, me not, me to, to, if, if, uh, if I'm being honest, him signed to elite. Him signed to elite management group. Well, with with how old is he? He's about twenty one or so. He's my twenty. He's my twenty. Fine. I don't want him guy, man. Maybe you that thing say yes. People that think yes, I have opportunity. Yeah, that was speed, I said. Yeah, me think on, him, 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 him have the more European think him will, him will be successful in Europe. Because sometimes you got MLS. It's all you about, brother. You get lost in a system. Mm -hmm. But when you're in Europe, there's so many scouts, there's so many leagues. Think oh. MLS always put for them players first. True. A P American, you see, I leave go in a in a something like, in a in a Germany, in a in a Spain, in a, in a Spain, in a England, and all these places. In my opinion, Blake could have keep in a Europe too. You can't win so much goalkeeper here, and you yeah yeah. To 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 to, to Europe. Hmm. Yes, him have like maybe you the same body. Him need that look a bit more. Look a bit more than thing. In, yeah, we ain't come on him box maybe for the crosses with him body, but otherwise from that he not have no others. Fine. I think him fall. Fine. I just see maybe body. But uh, one of the thing what kind of affect Blake still I can, because I am um, I do an interview with him. I may ask him why I'm in in in, in um MLS so long and I say yo Ryan, I tell you um new um, Crystal Palace come for sign him. But he could get the um the the Jamaica never rank in at the in at the fifty at the time when they come. And that kind of cramp him. And thing, but I think even not going to England, but like the Belgium Pro League or or one of them league because I think no because Shaman Nichols they tell me say, although Jamaica not ranking in 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 um in in the in the um in the 50th, it still can go to England with the points. How many times you play for the national team and how many games you play for your club team that build up, build yeah, up your... But, um, the, the, the thing where the rule is, when I was there, I didn't get mine. Yeah. Um, even if you're not qualified, if, if anything, if the transfer fee over 8 million, I think... It's this, okay. The, it's okay. Yeah, maybe that's why barely, barely go... Can go up and up. once it transfer fee significant then we'll yeah i think leverkusen pay i think leverkusen pay a good a good a good fee for it. i think leverkusen play a good fee man then aston villa play 30 million yeah man anything over eight million anything over eight million yeah them have to go yeah then that means uh, the quality. If them appear so much money, that means uh, the player quality is is pretty. Exactly. Uh, now what the same thing, Shamal. I mean, I say Shamal. Oh, you get the move for go to Belgium. I say yo, I over, I over. Um, because I own nearly ten million them pay for him. Sparta must go pay about ten million. And he might tell me say yo, even if them appear so much in a Belgium, them have a way name thing where you say um. How many games you play for your national team, and how many games you play for your club team? If you play consistent, 
mm-hmm. you will still get the move. So that was Shaman Nichols, he said. But in England, it's kind of different. I may say, Blake, he could have even in a, the Dutch or uh, in a... Um, in a in a belgium uh, because different you know a lot of people think just england england you, know, but you have europe where like just look like they are the other day carrying paris just signed for Dynamo cave and you were playing in 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 in, in a them league the way back down and he wasn't playing a lot of game for the jamaica national team and that and that's a big club in a ukraine there, right ukraine them there yeah, man. big club yeah. and him on the europa league bench and the and the europa league bench the other day brother that may I tell you, there's there's so many talents out there, brother. You then just need to jump there. But with King's situation, yeah, you know want him him there. Cause I'm gonna lose interest, you know. Mm. Especially in the league here. Yeah. Maybe get up every day and yeah, do well in the league. Maybe lose interest. You need to make that um transition when you can step up on next um level and try step up on next level and that's where I will become better and then we have a a a a a, a, a top class um, center back. Not saying the next one them and a top class. Just mean him have a age can make that. Yeah, to him to 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 push to the near the car. Him age and him him arm and thing. But one of the thing when we look on King, me I say I wonder if because when we look at him still, the next thing me always have a problem. I'm talk to him. I'm talk to Speed. I'm say Speed. Yo, you need to. If you believe that this man worth so much money, you can invest in the youth. Send him go to the gym. And because when you look at him, bro, I don't think he can manage a cheat chain in session. Because his body going to weird on when you look at him, him, him so flimsy. But him have the talent and him have the height. That's why I'm saying. That's the half he need that. He need a little bit of muscle, you know what I mean? That's why I tell you he need to come out of the country. <laughs> you understand me? Because you can get comfortable. Yeah. And then you stop doing the things that will help you. With his talent and he, when we watch him, 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 him do, he need to move to the next level so he can continue moving up the levels. Yeah. You know? And then you go have one next king and then you go have one next this and you go have one next that. Yeah. Just say football figure. True, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for the youth then because when I look at it, a lot of youth making a move you know, from out of the JPL. And it's a Brother, good thing. So many opportunities there. When when me a little boy, a baby one, <laughs> a baby one get contract, then after that, Fuller, Shelton, Shelton, Claude, you know, Pepe them, Top of them, you understand me? And they open up the door for me. Yeah. You understand me? So that's why when you get it to you have to go over there and do your best and be disciplined so you can open you can keep the door open yeah you understand so i never see so many players leave in jamaica you for real never you know it used to happen before you know see every season now even if they might go down a you korean or wrong or slovenia or so them go, or slovenia them go um um Malta, them go Russia, them, 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 and them are start to other thing like the youth name Daniel Green play for Mount Pleasant, bro. Like him speed, him up, bro. Like the man just slotting right away in the team. Brother, hear me, man. That me, I tell you, I want thing just work hard, discipline, guy, you them talented, mm. and them want to be successful. Mm. You see me, you know hard. But the simple things in our life, <laughs> somehow you are this thing that we do. True. Mm. Simple thing, and somebody you are this thing for do. Real. But I want to I want to um talk to you a little bit about the, the national. Because you have over 50 cap. Bro, that's a lot of game for the senior team, you know, man. I'm on a 84. No, I'm saying you have over 50 oh, yeah, cap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you remember that goal they scored against United States? They become you, you were a part of that team to beat United States. They scored free kick. Yeah, man, and Lothan, Lothan free kick. Score on, on I um, on I best free kick, Mister. Yeah, Lothan one was really, really good. Hmm. Yeah, but you, you stopped to play for the national team early though. What, what caused that though? <laughs> Brother, I don't know. 
I swear to you, I want unfinished. So, so, me ask you a question. You're not a trouble man and thing, brother. Because I realize with the national team, you know, once you're a trouble man, you push out. You know, you're not a trouble man and rebel against the system. I was just always standing up for my players, them. Because if I'm a captain for the team, and yeah. I have 23 of us, yeah. 12 say them now play, then I have to go and talk for the team. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. You have always. You have to, because when you're a captain, you have to go take the responsibility. A lot of times, I don't want my name in the media about money. Yeah. Because it's something women are like. So I just live my life simple. Yeah. You understand me? I get money from my club. But yeah. when you have, it's like a democracy in a, in a national team. If you have 23 players and 12 say them not play, and 11 say them not play, then the 12 will say them not play win. Hmm. So you have to go confront them now and something there and talk about things. And 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 me find it because me here on the road. Me here on the road say they no call me back because me love stick up Jeffrey for money. Yeah, we build that because hey, and, we get enough story for you know, brother. <laughs> and, and and all of these things, um why, why next one? Me too whole. 32 and then missing man we had 40 a play <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so better do it better do it better do it yes and one next one let me tell captain bad word mm. let me tell captain bad word and 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 but as the new one of them type of person they do yeah. like because i very analyze your personality since they on the show why you like you like a 2006 and them times when I play a stadium, my ball boy and them thing there. You know. mm. But when I see how one of them person who have to tell the captain, the, the, the president, them thing there. Brother, is that is that thing you know to talk up? You understand me? And, and yeah. I'm not going to be a leader of a team. Yeah. And and the team not satisfied with certain things and you don't go and represent the team. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. And I went there always represent the team. Mm. Because remember, you know, yeah, I know, I know, I know some little look boy. When me a captain of it, I team, and I know some little yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah, lead. Enough. Yeah, lead some big man as yeah. a leader. So you have to stand yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, lead man like uh, West Mar gonna win Premier League and all these things. Mm. And the man, they now make no trouble. To be honest, born no money or not. They now make no trouble. Yeah, no. Well, you know, one of the problems still, Austin, you know, say between men still. Hold on, you can't get my charger from my phone one second. Yeah, man, get the charger, man. Hey, people, I'm giving some exclusive right now. So, before you, before, you know, wait till the ball come back. Come on, Tim, hear this. More, I'm hear this. All right? Go, go, go for you. Go, go, something there, man. Um, let me get my charger. All right, all right. People, at the meantime, people, when stop playing game, man, I tell you about that thing all the time, Bridget. And I like the show, now, people. Come on, man. You see me, me now for day I tell you I like the show people. I like up the show no man. Russ, 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 you like up the show brother. Come on man, Bridget. Nanny of the Maroon, Paul Bogue, you bring all of them to like up the show. Come Bridget man. Chris, like up the show brother. Smash the like button. Listen, um, JC Gona bro, stop playing with the like button bro. Like the show brother. Come on bro. Come on bro. Ah, Chili Pepper, win. Like the show Bridget. Big up, man. But you know what? You know what? The thing I know about that. Mm. Yeah, bro. But just, um, me on the road and get a phone call and thing. And a big man called me from the JFF and I said, Yeah, Chris, um, Chris, 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 and the man I say, the man more for strike again, pan strike for the Argentina game. And I say, listen, I tell you the truth, I don't really hear nothing about that still. You know? And the man I say, Ryan, you hear, man? And thing. And I say, I'm not here. So the man them said, I'm a plan for stick up the team. And thing. So, Andre Blake make a. Um, you hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you. So, Andre Blake make a comment, the man Damien Lowe say, We are supposed to get a new coach, right? And the new code supposed to come next week and thing. And you know, it just breaks social media now and things. They get a new coach. And 
you know, the players are happy with Paula, what he has done. And mm -hmm. think they're really getting comfortable on them right now. And to bring in a new coach right now. So Andre Blake as the captain say yo, um uh, new coach, same JFF, the same result, and a lot of stuff and thing. A lot of people are the coach say yo, he's not supposed to attack. And friend if it says no, say yo, you are the leader, you are the leader as a team. And you say yo, you have to take the responsibility to 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 talk for the youth. Then. Yes, man. Um, brother, a lot of times, you know, as I say, a lot of the players, them, yeah, especially the ones them where have contract. Now, I'm no problem. The, the phone data angle, sorry about that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Them now have no problem. Um, them now have no problem playing without money. Yeah. But sometimes. The ones them we don't have a contract or them not earn so much. Sometimes them we rebel a little bit and then, you know. Because that they fighting for them. They must say the youth, them at Jamaica will play. Not getting exactly. up to and but things. At, like but at the same time too, if you go out there, you, you, you break a leg or you get a bad injury. You know, because I see man come play for Jamaica. Knows where the career done playing for Jamaica, you know. Did you know that? Yeah, man, the game where we play in a national stadium when we get injured. Yes. Him, him actually tend and tear up completely of my uncle. Career ending. You understand me? Yeah. So, you can come and play with Jamaica. Imagine you come and play with Jamaica for free. And something like that happen to you. And you can't go back and play in no club football. Everything, your career just done. Mm. You know, go forgive yourself. Mm. And sometimes it's not all about the money. It's just, it's just the the way how the whole thing um happened. Like you would, you you would be at your club and you get called for the national team and you think everything in place and then suddenly you have the vibe to come home and play and uh, wherever you're playing and then suddenly you go to your hotel and training and stuff a year match fee this and match fee that and man start asking about money and how this I go and how that I go and then I saw things you know and then you as the captain now you have to go ask about these things <laughs> so it put you in a one situation also make it look like you always a, a cause problem bad but I know you a cause problem yeah it just come with the being a leader. Mm. You understand me? And 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 what they were good at is they have, in my opinion, what they have witnessed, they have friends in the media that turn it on the players. Because the first time what happened, we went to Caribbean Cup in Caribbean. Um, Martinique. And they wanted to give us Twenty-five dollar a day. What US? No US. Twenty-five US a day. No when much we fee. share this, we share this. Two thousand and um ten. Ten. When, I same thing. We, we're talking about. Yeah. Twenty-five dollar a day. And we said, I wasn't the captain that time, but I was with Luton and Taylor them and Omar coming and them, and we were down there and um. One journalist came to us and asked about it, and I said my part. I said I said to them that, uh, listen, it's not right for your player leave the country, go represent Jamaica, and him come home, him come back home and can look in her mother's face and give her something sensible. Mm. And I was ridicule for that comment me here say you stick up country and we know this and we know that so over the years me try to avoid it and after after a while me just lose appetite you know me just lose that drive because it's always the same thing see me witness it as a little boy when we go in a national team 
and it just for the 13 years it has always been a problem been a problem right. so after a while it just it just become bored you know it it it, 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 it is so simple you go play china you, you have a contract thousand dollar for the for the for the for the for the practice game them world cup qualify three thousand for this and bonus and that you put out your contract you have your group of player or your pool of player and all the players that are in the that pool cool. get one of the contract so you know when you go play a practice match okay a thousand thousand us for that game practice game you understand me mm-hmm. more more bigger games like world cup qualifier and stuff you know the amount and you have your contract and you know so when you go you just have to play ball you know you know no monetary thing yeah you understand me it's yeah. so simple but we, we don't do that and when the players them go now and turn up on the whole thing it just brother it's just one simple word it's just transparency you know transparency transparency you know you understand me yeah that's all that's all it takes If J if JFF be transparent, That's it, takes. it takes, you know. If if JFF become transparent, they might go get a lot of support. But when you see corporate Jamaica, them them not really trust what's going on. You understand me? And people now go fling their money all over the place. And then no, not knowing what's going on. You understand me? Yeah. It's just, it, it is so simple to fix, in my opinion. I think so too, bro. You understand me? Just be honest. If you don't have no money, you know, you know, you know, come with in the book and you show yourself no no money. I that me I say, I mean, I say it many times when I say, Austin, to get back the trust with the people them in Jamaica and, 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 and the diaspora, and to get back the trust with the player them, come and CVJ, come on these. I mean, if it's a come on our platform, because they never to our platform. But come on, come on, Sportsmax and TVJ them and say, listen, this is the book. This is all we are earned. This is all we can afford. I believe that people would definitely support them, but it's so hard for them to do that. Yeah, and I think it's and I think it's very simple. You know, I just want our football for 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 for, for, for grow, and I don't care who want run it. Once so uh, them I put the the football first, the country football first. Mm-hmm. That's all that matters. You understand at me? any time when you are play, at any time you are play, represent the player them. And no time you say yo, you just feel like you give up. You just can't matter with this because I, a lot of things said about in the media, especially when you are captain. You ever feel like you give up or your family or your wife feel certain way and I say yo, John was star, and them know you not them type of person. Then. Yes, man. Um, me and my wife simple, you know, and just live simple and quiet and stuff. So, you know, whenever my name call up in I media about money and stuff, me go home and sometimes she feel embarrassed because she know we are right and she know like she say why. But me have to explain to her like you know it's yeah. not like. Same like how me explain to you, say it's like a democracy situation where, mm. yeah, and you meet other people and you know your school meet them and thing and you are part of it and they make it look like the players them, ah, you know, money, money. And something. yeah, you understand me? But name how many players you can name how many players who play for the national team alone? Maybe they don't have a car now, I drive. Are house out of the game. And none of those players can go at the office and knock and say, May I beg your dollar? Because no, you waste your time, they're going to tell you. And players players would, wouldn't be knocking down the JFF door if all the things were in place. Hmm. You understand what I mean? You put the yeah. contract in place and the players sign it, they have nothing to talk about. You sign it, 
we agreed on something. Same like when you signed to your club. Yeah, but Austin, we signed contract the other day with the players, them are a problem. Them, them they paid them for the last three World Cup qualify game and the Nation League. So, the man them signed the contract, said we, and the, the thing still a break. Exactly. Then, the the man, they the, 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 say, yo, we pay, we, and like, say, we are running them, we, we play without the money, said we. But yet, still, sometimes I disrespect where it carries still not. May I tell you the truth, you know? Brother, it, it, it is very embarrassing. Trust me. I have experienced it. It is very embarrassing. Because people look like look on you like when you have contract already, I don't know, just a pressure this. And you have no money this and no money that. And brother, your career don't start until you finish. <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? Yeah. That's when a footballer life starts. Say that again. Say that again for the young player that want to watch your program. No, me say your life don't start until your career finish. Yeah. You understand me? That's when you have to live off of where you make. Yeah. If you don't put certain things in place, you're going to have a problem. So, footballers, a, a doctor will always be a doctor. A doctor can have in job till he's 65. A footballer will always be a farmer player. And a you, you're lucky if when you reach all 30, you're still a play. I'm done 22, so you were 20. Exactly. So it can become, it can be a short career, brother. Yeah, one injury. One injury, or you get turned down something. And mm. your whole career, you work so hard for you miss school. Because most footballers, you, know, you, you can't attend all your classes them and do it. Yes, you may be there, CXC them and stuff. Mm. But if you miss maths and them something, they have a problem. So you miss yeah. a lot. And you give uh, them a you, them want to play Man Cup, miss four months out of school. Exactly. So you four to five this, months. This is something that you put your all into. Mm. And if you don't make it, it, it will affect some, some players mentally, in a brother. Mm. Well, another thing of fact, what I really can understand. You see, when you look on the German team, pass player. When we look on the USA team, either them, either them part of the coaching staff or them they on board. When we look at England, pass player. When we look at Spain, pass player. But when we come on to the Jamaican national team, who we can say you are amongst in the federation and, 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 and thing. Why it's so hard and you guys play at the highest level, full of the baby, who can, they can be a part of no national team. Brother, I, 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 boy, it, it, it is puzzling. It is, it is really puzzling. I don't know if the players them have the drive to do it or because of how people perceive the JFF yeah. over the years. Yeah. If them don't want to be a part of it or, or stuff, but I think the farmer players them need to be a part of the program, even the, the, the from the club level, and everybody need. And we develop a, 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 a DNA every day with the coaches, them, everybody develop a, a DNA for the national football, you know, from club level up to the national team. Yeah. And I saw it go grow. But yeah, but one, one of the things, one of the things still, it's like a hard phone still. I'm telling you, straight. been talk to people behind the scene, brother. And one of the things, you see, man like you, you got hard to get in there because what you do as a part player, like, they must say, oh, you usually rebel against the thing. No, I like to do it for you. Well, Ryan, that's why over the years, that's why me take things in a man, me make sure, say, me put on a dollar. You understand me? So, I yeah. have to go beg nobody nothing. Yeah. You understand me? So, my, my, me moving back home, my aim is, is not to take up Jamaica football for my head, you know. My aim is to help another little youth. Help a player. If he become a, a player for the national team, fine. If he move on to play international club football, fine. That's what me want to help. Yeah. An individual or a group of youth. That's my aim. My aim is to take up Jamaica football for my head. 
Do you understand me? Yeah. Yeah. But me, me no, if, if, you know, at, at, even in that time when they no call me, I never call about it and ask why. Yeah? Because I just, no, never. Never ask why. Even though me tell you is a, is a, is a, is a pose where me no know what happened, but I am a big man. Me just take it as a big man and me move on with my life. It's yeah. simple. Yeah. So what's the relationship you have with Coach um, Winford Schaefer? What is it? What is it like as a coach, though? Very good. Yeah. Very good. Good man management. He just did need a very good assistant. Oh. And he, and he, and he, and he, and he, and, he, and he something they kill him. The language barrier kill him. But he's a very good man management. When we went to the Gold Cup final, it wasn't any coincidence. Yeah. We have a great um Copa America. Yeah. We we did well in the Copa, even though we lost the three games. Yeah. You understand me, but, but not bad though. Only you could take a lot of things to learn from and build. Yes. And we brought that into the the Gold Cup, and we went to the final. You understand me? But the the whole team, the camaraderie in the team, and everything was. You should win that Gold Cup in still last in the 2015 Gold Cup there, no? We should yeah, have. Man, we, we, we should have won, to be honest. But nothing is given in football. You have to work for it, and we <laughs> didn't. We didn't. I want to give you brother. I really have to give you. Not to give you. Have to work for it. Yes, yeah, bro, and and we just have ourselves to blame, and 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 me, I captain, me have to take responsibility too. You know, never run from that. Yeah. You understand me? I just saw life, bro. You know, take responsibility when we lose, and I just say go. So I said, um, the Winford, um, Schaefer is just the, the the language barrier kind of really kind of never make him put on a, a, a really good footprint with, with the team. You have to realize plus, our plus other stuff too. The only problem when me that I miss it was in he needed a very good assistant. He he was more like a technical director. Winford. Yes. But he's like say you don't have Fergie and man you yeah. not do much on the field, but you know the line with him. You understand me? Yeah. Because Fergie not really got set up. Cone and them stuff. Cone and them something there, you know. So yeah. that's when the good assistant are, are a coach come into play. Yeah, but big man's thing, yeah, you're right, you know, because Pep Guardiola, all of these, man, they have some veteran coach behind them, club have, uh, uh, and Pep, they have some veteran who do the work and all of them things for them. What them can learn from, too. But, brother, in a international, in a, in a, in a, in a professional football, if you, if you at a club and you go around certain club, Pep, them not really set up nothing, you know, they have them, them, it's a big unit of them, you know, it's a group of them, you know, hmm. one, five, six of them, you know, Pep just oversee everything, you know, brother, and then they meet in you know, a them office and them go through them tactics and all these things, that's where football gone now, no, no coach now, they have fling down cone pan feel certain way, they have, they have them, them assistant or them coaches who, 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 who get instructed to do those things, and them just, Stand up by sideline, watch training, see who in a farm, and this and that, and then then step in now and then. Uh. You know? Yeah, but um, after that, now, you guys lost the, the final to USA. That was a good team. Really, really good no, team. And Mex Mexico beat us in the final. Mexico. Oh, 2017, we lost the United States. United States. We lost the United States. We lost um, in 2015. So win for sure for the last coach you coach on that. Mm -hmm. For the national team. So Tapa has never called you? No, sir. Um, Tapa never called me back. Yeah, and he never called you on. The, because you know when coach, new coach took over, he never called you and say, hey, Rudolph, you know, I want to be a part of the yeah, national team. Him, him, him did call me one time, and then I hear back from him. But the conversation was awkward. But yeah. me, not, me not have nothing against Tapa. You know, okay. maybe him get him get because 2010 I won the Caribbean Cup that Tapa win and a dumping and butter with eat on a Martinique and winning. 
Dump and what do you mean by dump and butter? Jamaica eat dump and butter. When we reach a Martinique and we go, go eat dinner night, it, it chicken stink like a dead. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, hey. the food, no disrespect, the food was atrocious. <laughs> then, and we have it, we are, we are loot and them time loot and they have contract and something. Loot and go around, go buy one heap of flour and corned beef and sit now. That night we cook corned beef and flour and most night I dumping and butter we, we eat down there. Mm. Y- yeah, you know, sir, it, that, that story the full I tell you about where the man him said, when he knew right up in the newspaper said, they, um, Aston leading the charge said the team need more money. I think, man, who are you the team in a shop, man? Yes. Richard Edwards, the whole of it. Richard, that, Richard, Richard yes, and, and, and Fuller was telling me about, this, about the same the thing. Four of them give me 50, 25 dollars a day. And that same tour of the problem because I dump in and butter. And my little nephew did the 19 at Sergio Campbell. I him cook most nights. So I know in a play. Dump in and butter and win the trophy. Top of win him in him, 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 um, him Caribbean Cup and, and stuff. You know, and I was very happy for him. I mean, I have nothing against Tapa. But me just yeah. think that the, the decision came from higher places. Higher places. Yes. So, when uh, uh, I tell the people, I say, this is all the JFF work, brother. I tell them to talk a lot of them behind the scenes. If they rebel against the system, they will punish you. And as, as I said, you know, you, 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 have to be, you have to be wise in this game. <laughs> You know, because you can't, you can't leave your, um, your future, you can't make people determine where your life is. You have to have control of your life. You understand me? So when that happened, no, we, 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 we win that. 2014, no. We win it at Mobile with Jaffa. Yeah. And then... Um, 2015, we got World Cup final. Mm-hmm. See? So, 20, 20, um, 16 now. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, something there again. Caribbean Cup. Caribbean Cup. So, me in a my head, leaving um, Bromby now. Coming home. Think I'm gonna, um, what you call it? Um, Get called? No, me think me I got different back the trophy. Mm-hmm. Me not, and, and, and even try to win the, the World Cup the next year. And then yeah. never stop. But yeah. Me not in a 45 <laughs> pool of players. Or 65 then. But me not in a... Me not in a... I said, Jesus Christ, I will me do now. That's the time I'm 32 years old. Yeah. Then come here look it. Do well in the um the World Cup and maybe World Cup. that are the 2017 World Cup. Yes, and then me that maybe finish try find something in a MLS and finish my career there. Mm-hmm. So at that when me see say man then I call me back and say and me say Jesus Christ, I wear them do. <laughs> I saw me end up back at Denmark for four more years, but you know I have yeah. my present the JF for our our top and you know mm-hmm. I just just football. Mm-hmm. Then uh, what what got me upset now I when Mr. I hear the stories um, on the road. Yeah. Yes. That that got me upset about but, uh, 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 the man named uh, I me oh me until it say right now. The man named you see it hard for player. I said I can't run if the man them go and talk up. You know what I mean? I can't me can't can force the player them, can't cost them if they don't want to talk up uh. so Paul I'll talk up there and then I give the job. <laughs> well, well, as, as, as me say, um, me no mind it, you know. At, they you have a start, big man. You have a start, so. yeah, man. And 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 also, uh, them them stand for something too. So if them no feel say they want me be a part of them e program anymore, then they made them 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 them, 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 them decision and and we move on with real life. Me no have no problem with it. Just like yeah. um, football, these things happen every day. Yeah. So at the at the age of thirty two, we went back to Denmark now. And thing. Oh it go. Because thirty two in a region that yo, 
in a football and them turn the hole in a bridge in and oh, oh your manager at the time and play four more season. I come home back about 36. I remember when it, it you come home yeah, at 36. Man. Yeah, I came home 36. So after 32, I I I spent four more years in Denmark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Four more years in Denmark. Wow. But I moved when I went when I went to that club, I moved at I played at centre back that time. So it wasn't it wasn't that hectic like the midfield. Yeah. Yeah. With the experience, with the experience as most as most defensive midfielder when them get a little bit old, they can play centre back now. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So some some it up because I know you have a family, we have a family too, so I'm not gonna keep it any more longer. So some of your time play with the national team and what you regret or you believe that you achieve everything out of the football or where you want to achieve more. Well I don't live with regret enough because I you never know if me regret something made me more than me. Yeah, understand me. But yeah. you know, me grew up side of one river, always have a dream. You know, Sada and River, the river run between my yard and the football field. You understand me? Mm. In I not this part of Clarendon. You know, mm. so to represent my country, captain my country and stuff, play overseas, you know, can feed my family you now. You understand me? I am mm. I am very grateful, brother. Yeah. Whether I go through the, the bad and the good of Jamaica, I have nothing against the JFF. Nothing against anybody. You understand me? I'm just a human being trapped in this earth, and I am very, very grateful for what I have done with my life and what life has to offer me. Mm. So, some quick one, quick one. Best try, best, best footballer you play with, both internationally and Jamaica. The best footballer I play with. I should say the best midfielder you play with. We like to play with in the midfield. Out here when we uh, when we when we play, me like me like um as Jeremy and you and Teddy Johnson in the midfield. Say like them two in the midfield. In the midfield. Why? Because steady fast, Germany of the past, I have to do a work and give them the ball. Yeah, and... me work and give them the ball. Yeah. And me and Teddy used to have a deal where, where <laughs> anytime he's going to make it long over the game and him, you know, him go doing things. <laughs> you know, so. and, and Jerry, you know how he's Jerry, but you know, and, and me learn a lot. From Christopher Dals. Christopher Dals. When they put more play with Christopher Dals, I learned a yeah. lot. Yes. You know, I enjoy that time playing with him. You know, be a man where go World Cup and I was so happy, you know, to just run around and him direct me and something and him just uh, come and play. You know, so him, him teach me a lot. Until today, mm. very, very good friend. You know, mm. big fan of your shows, you know, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, as you talk about that, how oh, oh, you, oh, you feel about how oh, me go about my thing? Because, you know, a lot of people, especially from high places, say, boy, Ryan, you think you are, you know. What do you think? Ryan, you have to just be yourself in this life, you know, brother. Okay. Me can evaluate how you deal with your life. You understand yeah. me? Yeah. It, it's a reason why you get people on your show. You understand me? You go up critics, you go have people not like you, you go have people who praise you, I just so it's how you feel. Yeah. Nothing where people build, nothing good never just build quick and over overnight without whole heap of fight and criticism. So you're young, you're passionate, you didn't make it in a football, maybe or you don't want it, maybe I hear thing this. Yeah. Stick with your dream and do your thing, brother. All right. So, one of the viewers, I'm going to take one from the comment section. If you have any um, plan to guide any upcoming central midfielder, me they run couple and stuff. You understand me, and you just can, you know, teach them and and and, and help them in the in in the best way you can. You understand me? Yeah. I am not perfect. You have to maybe learn it, learn all others. Do things also and try to teach them 
teach them to and stuff. But as I, as I said, you know, you just want to change the youth, them way of thinking and, mm-hmm. and, and let them see the bigger picture and let them see that there's more to life than where them are set for. You understand me? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So, quick. Give me a best level with that with, with player where you've played with overseas and things. International, or you make it quick. Boy, that's a hard one, you know, right? You have to sit down and think about that. Because <laughs> oh, every time you see them do it, you sit down and it, it's a go hard. I need to think about it. Yeah. yeah. You know, but yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I, maybe I, me text that one to you or something. Yeah, man. Just text it to me, Bridget, and I'm going to read it all for the program and thing. You know what I mean? Bridget, I appreciate everything he has done for Jamaica. You understand? You know, the hard time and stuff because man like Uno Bridge would have loved for Uno to be around to guide the youth them. But talking about guiding the youth them, as a man who play at the highest level, when he had Portmore, when he talk to you, they listen, they come on that, they, they listen for somebody who achieve a lot on international stage and overseas and think they listen to you. Yeah, man, but you know, you yeah, go have a one and two, uh, maybe rebel, but you know, you can't save everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't save everybody. Everybody have a save themselves. Yeah. Yeah. For real, for real, for real. But, Bridging, my thanks, man, for coming on the nice platform, Bridging, the man way. Rude and all of them things, Bridging, man. It's a pleasure to have you, Bridging. When I have the past player, them, I only alone me can get, because I'm not get no more present player, because. They say I burn too much bridges and and that's me. I am mean, just still a player the truth and thing. You know what I mean? But big up to the real one, Shaman. No matter how I beat him, I'm going to call him and say, come do an interview, I'm going to come. But there's a man named now come, brother. The man named Blacklist me. Brother, because, we now want uh, football. Eh? We now want, want sports where I get a lot of critics, you know? Yeah. You know? How hard, it is, how hard it is for football. Like, a lot of people don't understand it. When they come on a critic, you know? How do you feel about it? Like the, the, the player. You take it, it on. It can be tough, but um what me do what, what I what I what I achieve what I develop over the years is I am a biggest critic. And you know, whatever people say, you have to just take it on the chin and just, you know, say yo. A life you know one game where the man was the fat man was sit on pain so far. See her run and he say you know fast enough. <laughs> you understand me? And he mm. can run. You understand <laughs> me? So I just I just you know this part by them people are gonna say this, people are gonna say that you have to know say I just say go. Yeah. But you know when I talk to the Englishman, I talk to a few of them. I get the privilege to talk to a few of them. You know they, they don't see it as nothing. Brother, but my over, the, o- over there, yeah, me go go, yeah, you have to, you have to, you yeah, have to develop that tough skin because sometimes when you, when you they are lead to play one game, least you, uh, you do well and yeah yeah and you play next week and you lose and you go up on Twitter yeah shit and yeah this <laughs> and, 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 sorry about my language you understand me yeah right but so yeah always you, after a while it just becomes you get used like, to it yes because what what. You don't know me. Anybody can see me on TV and say anything about me. You don't know me. You know who love it? Current player, Shama. Him same strive for that. But brother, you have to develop it. Him same like when you, when you find them, they pan him back. Him, him, him when, same when, you, when you're young, when you're young, maybe we affect you because... So, but after a while, no, sir. You have to just yeah. know where you go. Yeah. Shama say, playing for Boystone, him don't see no other go play a boy in a garden. Man say if you play at them place there, are the toughest place you can play anywhere in the world. Yeah man, yeah man. You have some, you know. But you know, you have people. You can build them, and you have people. You can break them. I mean, it all comes down to the individual. You know. A true man. Can never a, a ball like him. I see right now, nah, like bro. It, it it really really affect me, man. And and thing man. I see especially when. Some of the youth, them like many of the players, them many of the people, them looking at the Casca Rica League and they, you know, they conquer cuff region. Mm. You must see Ryan, like sometimes, even listening to the show and how the people they deal with, you know, I'm kind of feel a, 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 a feel a way and thing. And you must say, yo, more educate them, and I'm just a little know that, listen, 
we heard sometime you know based on some of the comment them the people them make you know what I mean? you know when much time done and thing the emotion with the fans and all that even me even me sometime i said you know like, like they had a, the last time I woke up and said, um, Jebba, what's the man belly big like him pregnant? That was a low ball move by me, but at the time, I just eat it in a moment. And, you know, I reach out to him and say, Yo, brother, man, I must say, you're not the man wrong with that bitch. You understand? Brother, you grew up in a Jamaica. You grew up in a Jamaica. You go home. You play bad. Your brother, I got to tell you, say, Yeah, shit. <laughs> you understand me? You know, you play a beer fool in your bridge in them bunny corner. You understand me? Maybe I had a granny or your mother calls you. You understand me? Mm. It, 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 once you know become personal, brother. Yeah. I, you know, once you know tell me about my mother and my wife or my opinion them, or you know lick me, me good. Yeah. Once so, you just step on the field, me good with it. All right, fair enough. Good. Five seconds. You say you want to go in, in coaching, you start any badge of it? Yeah, man, I have one badge from England, you know, but it didn't know long vibe because when we started the last year Leeds, um, um, it couldn't continue it because we moved to Denmark. Denmark. I start my badges them now, man. So you go overseas or you do the one in the JFF, if you do it overseas? I don't know which one it, but some mm. have come up, so I go... You do one overseas, brother. So maybe, maybe... Uh, maybe my job, you probably them whole lamp and you want to forget it at the JF. <laughs> <laughs> No man, you know, you know, I, you know, as me say, I know bad feeling yeah. again. So me a big man, and if people that they are big man, then just make bygones. Bro, them not nah Lego man, you. Them not. Nah they really. hold it then. Me not nah have nothing against them, <laughs> brother. Them hold it, you know. Anyway, Bridget, big up here, your family, Bridget. Appreciate the come and sit down to our and uh, and thing, Bridget. You really appreciate it, Bridget. You know what I mean? No Maybe problem, man. And go and, go and grow your thing, man, and, and you know, hope yeah. a lot of people will subscribe to you and, you know, just go and do your thing, brother. Yeah, man, bitch, man. Take it easy, brother. Safe travel and thing. So, what is it? What is it? What is good this year? Because last year, on the first one, I support. What is it? What is You know, last year, nobody couldn't get relegated, and I think, you know, we just didn't try with some. <laughs> Yeah, I think you know, we not get the young players them like opportunities like I guess like Cavaliers did it and win the league, mm -hmm. you know. But I that team was together for a couple of years, so. You know, I hope this year we can turn things around because it, it wasn't the Portmore that we know about. You know? We know, yeah. But one thing though, Portmore never done for too long in a budget. No, nah, man. You know, pre-season start well and stuff, so I so hope we can turn it around, you know. Yeah. But, people, call up. Bad man, where are yeah, I'm live and now, you know, so I'm take a call look later, all right? Oh, so you're not, oh, you're not taking a call now? No, I never plan, I never, me, me should have waited 10 minutes out of the show, but I never plan to take a call, because I have him there too long, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, take, you know, should have taken down the number, man. Big up yourself, big up, your, big up, your, big up, your, big up your second day. I like when I talk to the show still, so let me go on with you, do your thing. All right, big up. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. man, bless up. Yeah man, sorry about that people. I never me never me forgot to take 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 call and thing, but yeah. But big brother, yo, it was a pleasure to have you in a region. Now nah, we'll no more longer. So people yeah, man. take care, Ryan. Bless up yourself. Good. Cool. Yeah man, one love. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, have it, people. People I wasn't planning to take no um call and stuff. I didn't. So sorry about that to all of the people that are calling. Next time, next time. But we have some more interview coming up this week. Um, I think tomorrow we have the next one. Or ah, tonight. Look out for it. One of them day. Look out for it, people. Stay tuned. All right. We are going to refresh and come back again. So, all right, my beautiful people. People, like up the video, people. Like up the video. 
Yeah, man. Big up, big up, Ricardo Fuller, brother. No love and respect, Bridget. Thanks for being the Hey, I only for ball a past you, you know. Ricardo, big up yourself, brother. Thanks for this one. Um, Jeremy, you big up yourself. Ryan Johnson, big up yourself. Um, Kirk Porter, big up yourself. Um, Rusty, big up yourself. Really appreciate you guys tuning in and stuff, man. Wayne, big up yourself. Big League, big up yourself. No love and respect, man. Ricardo, yo, we talking, brother. You don't know, Bridging. Really, really appreciate it, Bridging. So, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, from your boy Ryan LFC, we like to say peace out. Thanks for watching. Paul, brother. And the man, big all of us, Paul, for doing the thing, brother. You don't even know my vex, my youth. we got a Mario Slow, calm down, Ryan. I say go, I say go. Footballer, footballer, footballer. Ryan, footballer, footballer, footballer. <laughs> Slow down, dog. <laughs> it's okay, dog, brother. See, why we put down Alvaro Spoil, Bridget? The same player they want to kill with, brother. Them man they were used and a kill with campaign, brother. Right side and the left bar, brother. I tell him my youth. <laughs> she didn't even know me. I tell him I'm a vex my youth. I'm a vex virgin. Alpha Spoil had a weak link, brother. She didn't even know my youth. I'm a vex my youth. <coughs> oh my god. What would bring on Alpha Spoil, virgin? Why we bring Alva Spoil back to the team, brother? <coughs> Two goals and scope on Alva Spoil, brother. <coughs> Alva Spoil. Why we bring on Alva Spoil, my youth? Why would bring all of us forward for you at the game, Bridget Taylor? Same yeah, thing we call the time, brother. Why we are calling all of us forward, man? Why we are calling him night team for come give her the thing all the time, brother? Why you just paying me from the bottom of my heart, Bridget? I tell you that, my youth. I tell you that, Bridget. It's paying me, Bridget. Me, Bridget, sir. Four minutes, four minutes. Ryan, just... <laughs> close it, Ryan, Ryan, close the camera and cool down, brother. Close the camera and cool down. Ryan. My, you, my vex, my, you, my vex. Ryan, 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 close the camera and cool down. I'm not the my tailor, my you. I'm not the my tailor, my you. I'm not the my tailor, my it is what it is, bro. Um, it is what it is. Bro. <coughs> oh, By the way, Taylor, four minutes added on. Yes, uh, four minutes added on. Uh... And I don't know how Mexico aren't three one up, but they missed a super chance. <coughs> yeah, bro. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be yeah, four yeah, or five. Yeah. So, you see, because I can't even be, um, I can't, this is not the time to be, I can't be negative, dog, because, because Jamaica, Jamaica showed me showed fight, me tonight. fight tonight. tonight. You see what I mean? The, the team showed me fight. We had the game, Seriously, seriously Taylor, 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 fair play. One love to everybody. People, smash the like button and the real old people. Come on, like up the stream, people. Like up the stream, people. Please, I'm begging you guys. More people can see the interview when it upload. Like up the stream, people. Come on, please, like it up. My name is Tiffany Cameron, Ragged Girls Top Striker, and you are watching Ryan LFC YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.